Another thing I didn't show you guys. When I opened this up the other day after coming back from the desert, I just got fucking tired of dealing with this thing, so I thought I'm gonna replace flight controller to something I'm very good at now is Pixhawk. But I notice inside all this fucking spaghetti, which I don't know how he did it, the guy that built this, there is no power distribution board. So I had ordered this to stick in here, but I don't know, maybe this has something to, do, something to do with the issues that I have. But how could they have done this? Well, I know how they could have, but why would they do this? Without the, uh, trying to see where all the connection starts. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys that, but I'm gonna open this up and I'll be taking videos of it so you can see the teardown process and then the rebuild from there. After I removed all these leads, look at this. It was all crammed up in here. The majority of them were not being used. They were going here and out to the tip of the motor. Over here, future accessory, but I just labeled it accessory power. No fucking need to have all this shit in here. Look how much cleaner that looks already. Label everything as you go. I don't know if I can show you this, but this connector right there, that ground, black. Let me see if I could magnify that. You see all that white shit inside? Right there. Now let me show you another one. Look at this one. Look at that, nice gold color. No corrosion, no crap. And look at that one, all that white stuff. So there's a possible contact connection and that's going into the ESC. So it's a good time to check right now what the hell was going on there. Maybe that was my problem. And I was having poor performance on. All right, after a few hours of work, there is my power distribution board. When you get a chance, or if you get a chance, get yourself a voltmeter, and from the main battery LiPo input, measure continuity to all your pluses, and measure continuity from positive to negative, should be zero. If you get any sign of continuity, you have a wire touching somewhere shorting out. If you've got little wire, uh, I trim the wires down. Let me show you here, where are you? Well, let's do this. On the bottom end of any wire, the braided line's coming out. You gotta make sure you trim them properly between anywhere where there's a possible connection between um, between the positive and negative, any little tiny wire strand that's touching, that's gonna, that's bad news. So make sure you triple check, quadruple check. Continuity from the main lead to all of your positives and then from your main lead to all of your negatives. You should get nothing. If you get a meter that has a built-in beep, like this one, you'll get this sound. Hear that? As soon as you touch. So I'm duplicating here, negative to positive. So if you touch this on negative, and then you go to positive, right there, you should get nothing. But if you get a beep with black on black, red to red, if you get a beep, there is something wrong. Backtrack and double check your work. Look how nice that looks. You can put all that fucking spaghetti that was in there. Horrible. That was uh, not the greatest of work, whoever did that. All right, enough for the day.